Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for, you know, the next few days, next week, something like that. Um, this is not time specific so I, I really I don't care to put a time on it. Anyhow, uh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, we are just going to see what comes up. Woo! Four of Wands, this is happiness. This is this is celebrating, okay? It's time to celebrate. This is happiness. This is commitment. This is being right where you need to be at the right time. Just having fun. Uh, wow. Look at it. It's just having a great time, okay? So something is good. Really, really good. Six of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles. You may not want to work at all. Let's just go have some fun. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. You may not be making much progress at work if you're out celebrating so much. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Um, anyway, your overall energy is the Four of Wands is happiness. But there's a lack of progress being made. Not a lot of effort being put in. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, there's lack of investment here, maybe at work or, or not getting what you deserve at work, um, not putting in effort. Hmm. Four of Swords reversed, exhausted. This is extreme exhaustion, so... Hmm. You may be overwhelmed. Maybe you're taking on too much. If you think about the six of six plus four is ten, right? And tens can be, you know, I was just thinking, picturing the ten of wands, which is overwhelmed, overwhelmed with work, perhaps. Maybe you're overworked. Maybe you got too much work going on. You need to take a break and go have a little bit of fun. I mean, just take heed. Take heed because if you're if you're overworking or if you're overdoing it, you know, sometimes you need to just break loose and whatever. Okay? Alright? Um The Emperor. Yeah, we may if you if you're a business owner, if you are a business owner or if you're the boss, you you may be you, ha, you may have a lot of things going on right now, and you may be a little overwhelmed. Or you, if you're not the boss, your boss may be putting a lot of demands on you. Okay, feels like something to do with work here. You may have a bossy boss. Okay, if you're not the boss, you may have a bossy boss who um, doesn't recognize your value. That could certainly be the case, and they're, they're they don't realize how much you do, and they're giving you more and more and more. And just saying. Just saying, it feels as though um, hmm. there's a lot of work to be done and you may not have enough time to do it or something like that. Um, three of Swords reversed. Two of Pentacles. So yeah, you're going, you got, you got a lot going on. Things are chaotic right now. I think that you got, you're juggling, you got, there's a lot of demands, you're probably trying to find balance in your life, you're trying to, to adapt to everything that's going on, I think things might be a little bit crazy for you, um, now the three of swords reverse, this is a time of recovery, uh, you may need time to recover, if you've been overworked, or working too hard, or things are too stressful at work, or something like that, you may need to get some sleep, Aquarius, Maybe you need to get some sleep. I mean, if you're overdoing it, say if you're out partying or whatever, maybe that's affecting your job. I don't know. I think that you really need to get some sleep. That's what it looks like to me. Um, hmm. Three of Swords reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Justice. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so right now things you may be working really, really hard or you may be overwhelmed, but there's going to be a payoff. You are going to be rewarded for all this hard work. Believe it or not, you may think that this is, you know, you may be overwhelmed by this. So you make sure that you don't bite off more than you can chew or try not to. I feel as though you're going to get something. This is getting what you deserve and this is getting what you deserve in a good way. In a good way. So your flexibility... 
your ability to adapt to all this workload or this change or whatever it is, your ability to adapt is going to pay off. You may be stuck right now. You may be in a situation that is keeping you stuck or you may be unable to change what's happening, you know, because if somebody else is in control, you may be under under a boss, okay? Or you may be the boss. If you're the boss, you've got a lot of freaking work to do. If you're under a boss, the boss is putting a lot of demands on you, whatever the case is. And, and it's, it's like it's out of your control. It may be out of your control, but I think that your your flexibility and your hard work, even though you may think it's not going to pay off, I think it is going to pay off. I think you're going to get some sort of reward out of it, believe it or not. Um, I see that you guys are, are really balancing things out very, very, very well. But, but, but remember, one thing that you need to add into this mix is sleep, because I feel very very uh like i need to tell you that okay sleep is is necessary here um sometimes you need to take a break okay so the moon reversed so this is something being revealed the boss may reveal something to you the boss may show you something that you are unaware of um or if you're the boss, you may figure something out. You may see something that you were that you didn't know. Something is about to be revealed. Something that you didn't that wasn't that was You may feel like this is unreal. This is unreal. Whatever this is, this is unreal. Ten of Cups reversed. Temperance reversed. Strength reversed. Well, well, I wonder if you are, if you're working with somebody or you're dealing with somebody that isn't telling you the truth. Somebody is, uh, I'm just putting this together. It feels like this has to do with your job. I'm not sure. I feel like this has to do with your job. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who... isn't happy. Maybe your boss isn't happy. We have a boss here that isn't happy. Whether it's you, whether you're the boss or the person that isn't happy. Maybe you're dealing with working with somebody who doesn't pull their weight. Somebody that doesn't put in a lot of effort. And I think that the truth is going to be revealed. Whether, whether you know. It's like we have somebody here that is lazy. I don't know if it's your partner. I, mean, I don't know. We have somebody here that is really, really lazy. This person um, doesn't do their fair share. And I feel like that's going to be revealed. So I don't know who this is in your life. We have somebody here that doesn't pay their fair share or they don't do their fair share. They... Uh, aren't putting a lot of effort into a relationship, whether this is work-related or romantic. You're dealing with somebody who's not putting in a lot of effort into a relationship. This person may have addictions. They may not be telling you the truth. And this is like the truth being revealed, okay? So maybe, I mean, we have, the emperor is somebody that is very knowledgeable, somebody that observes and, and really has the experience to see the situation clearly. So I feel like you are, whether if this is at work or in your romantic relationship, you could be dealing with somebody who isn't really working on a relationship. They may be holding you back with this with this uh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe you're not meant to be with this person. You're not meant to work with this person. It doesn't lead to a lot of happiness. Um, the temperance reverse, this is some, something that is very unbalanced and it's like you want somebody that is balanced, somebody that knows what they want. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't know what they want and you're thinking, is it even worth it to play with this person? 
this person may look really good, but they're lazier than hell, okay? Or they may project themselves to be something that they are not, okay? And you realize that. You you realize that or the boss real, realizes that. Whether we, This could go so many different ways. Something is about to come to light that is about to be realized about a person that is in your scenario, I don't think it's you. I think that either you're realizing it or you're going to benefit from this. Put it that way. I feel as though you've got somebody here that is lazier than hell. And you're trying to do it all. It's like you're trying to do it all. Whoever you're dealing with is um, an emotional roller coaster or they're on some sort of roller coaster ride. This person is uh, sick, perhaps. They could be... Uh, you know, mentally ill even. I don't know. This person um, doesn't have to be mentally ill, but it could be. It could be with these two cards right here. This person um, definitely has a lot of uh, balance issues within themselves. They're very... Wow, look at this. This is temperance upside down with the strength reversed. It's just like they're... not stable put it that way okay they're not stable and this something is about to be realized anyway this is a decision being made <coughs> somebody is about to make some sort of decision and probably sever ties with somebody because five of swords is severing ties so there's probably going to be some sort of tension or conflict where somebody gets cut somebody gets cut um five of wands reversed I don't I don't feel I think that you will feel relieved I don't know who is getting cut but this is relief this is relief when the five of wands is reversed it's like there's no more competition this competition is over there's no more conflict I think that you should probably be expecting the unexpected because I think that something is about to be shown to you that you may have been unaware of about somebody that you are dealing with the overall energy is it is time to celebrate. Could be it's time to celebrate your freedom. It could be. This is a time of celebration. And this is unexpected fortune as well. Unexpected happiness. So whatever is happening, I feel like there is some sort of final decision being made that is going to make you very, 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 very happy. After things have been on some sort of roller coaster ride and you've been trying to adapt, you've been trying to be flexible, you've been working a lot, you've been working hard to make something successful and it feels like whoever you're dealing with... They're weak, they're lazy, they may have some sort of addictions that are holding you back. Um, they're definitely, something is holding you back from happiness. And this could be the end. The ten, ten of Cups reverse is like the end of a relationship. Whether it's, this could be at work or it could be, you know, an actual partner love relationship. It's like there's no working together with this person with the temperance reversed. You can't work with this person and you're about to receive something. The Six of Pentacles is receiving something. Um, and it's going to, it's, it's probably going to bring you some sort of relief. There is the, an end here. Somebody has been getting away with something and I feel like you're about ready to get out of it. It's like you're about ready to, uh, get the hell out of this situation. They've been getting away with it, but I don't think they're going to get away with it much longer. Get away with whatever they've been doing. I think it's the end of a very... Uh, troublesome situation. I, some sort of relationship is about to end, um, and you're, somebody's going to make another choice. It's like they've been living in some sort of illusion. There's been some sort of confusion, and there's other options. And it's like I, you know, I want, I want love. This it looks like this one's grabbing onto love. I want something more, you know, emotionally fulfilling than this. So I think there's something that is coming to a halt because something gets seen. Okay. Something is about to get shown to you. And um, the Magician Reverse and the Nine of Swords. I think that we have somebody here that's been giving deep, 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 deep thought to a relationship. And they may have been being used or manipulated. Dealing with somebody who is very tricky. Somebody that is very cunning. This person is crafty. Very, very alluring, but they're they're a liar as well. Okay, they don't tell the truth. So somebody's been dealing with a liar, 
And I think that the truth is about to be revealed about who this person really is. It may have looked real good. It may have felt real good. It may have felt like, you know, it was some sort of fantasy relationship, fantasy, ten of cups, reverse relationship. It may have been. It may have been. We all get into them at some point in our life, probably a couple. Anyhow, somebody has been in some sort of elusive relationship and it's like now they they see the light of what this really really is i think that uh the nine of swords reverse this is uh your gut is telling you your gut is telling you that whoever you're dealing with isn't uh all that they say that they are and 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 if this is a work situation it's like the boss is going to see it if you are the boss you're the one that's going to see it um, we're dealing with a very, uh, tricky situation. This person is cunning as ever. Very cunning and probably very attractive. Okay. Very attractive because that's part of their, part of their game. Okay. This is a game, part of their ploy. You know, it's part of the, it's part of their, uh, uh alluring nature. It's part of the draw is the attractiveness. Um, but it's like it's not worth it. The, the Seven of Pentacles, it's just not worth it. The you know, there's no working together with the Temperance card and the Magician. There's no working together with this person because this person doesn't tell the truth. This person is a liar. This person may even be a thief. This person isn't really putting a lot of effort into the relationship. Somebody's not. And you know, now somebody's about to make a judgment call and see the truth. Some sort of truth or secret or something is about to be revealed, and that is the way it goes. So, when you get the judgment card, this is an awakening. Somebody is about to get some sort of epiphany or awakening, a wake-up call that it's time to release something, okay? Because something, some truth that has been hidden is about to be revealed that is going to change. It's going to change everything. So, be prepared. Be prepared, Aquarius, okay? A change is coming. Let's get one of these for Aquarius. Um, I think it's an unexpected thing. Maybe you expect it. Um, you're going to receive something though. You are going to receive some sort of reward from this. Um, that justice is a final decision. Something is about to become final. And it's a completion of some sort. Um, something is finally going to end. And what, when this ends, okay, I have to tell you, the very first card is happiness. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you feel relieved that it ends. Animal Kingdom. Interesting. When we witness the wonder of the animal kingdom, we become still and present with the natural cycle of life. Animals are loving, brave, and fierce and live by their instincts. Animals have their own medicine and share its properties with us when we connect to them in spirit. All animals in their natural state are happy and driven with purpose. Animals are great teachers. They love unconditionally and work together to provide their pack or family groups with security, safety, food, and shelter. Only taking what they need to survive, animals live in harmony with nature and maintain a balanced environment without human interference. They know when to rest, hunt, and move in perfect order. Right now, the animal kingdom is encouraging you to follow your own path. Living in the present gives us more time during our day because we are not consumed by fears of the future or the past. Resetting you to your natural state of being, spending time with animals will ground your energy into the present. Getting back to your primal instinct encourages confidence and surety with others as you know where to stand as an individual. Simplicity is called for now. Take a step away from material endeavors. Go back to basics and bare essentials for clarity and peace of mind. Rest. I knew that you needed to rest. I, I could see that. The animals ask you to stay focused and balanced. Spend time in nature and connect to the animals around you. Stop and listen to their chatter, music, song, and dance. They will share messages of healing and wisdom whenever you choose to listen. So, focus on this card. Focus on this card for a minute. Okay? What 
animal are you drawn to? The bear? The wolf? The owl? The deer? Or the eagle? Pick one. If you were focused on the bear, hibernation, strength and confidence, challenges are ahead. Wolf, if you were focused on the wolf, seeing the truth, be cautious, follow your intuition. Owl, higher wisdom, observation, dreaming, transition. Deer, family, gentleness, uncondi unconditional love, and speed. Ego, perspective, call to source, and patience. This card pretty much sums up my whole reading. Okay? The truth is about to be revealed about somebody that you are dealing with. And it, you really need to take a break. Good luck.